Welcome to Moama for the uh, final day of this uh, Prestige Pairs. Very exciting games here today and we've got Matty Flapper playing uh, Buzz and uh, Peter Lowe and Scotty Boshan. So it should be a good game. Yeah, it should be an entertaining game. I know having a conversation with Buzz last night, he promised me he was going to put on a show today for us and uh, ham it up for the cameras a little bit. And uh, yeah, games involving Matty Flapper can always have a little bit of excitement in that in them. So yeah, great one to get us going this morning. Yeah, absolutely. We've got Matty Flapper and Peter Lowe sitting in fifth position at the moment on five wins, 30 shots up. So... Uh, Certainly up the pointy end. Yeah, they definitely are. Only uh, one win off the top spot at the moment. Only the one undefeated team still sitting in there, and Jeremy Henry and Aaron Tees. Uh, but, yeah, they've got a couple of... Well, they've got one very, very tough game that could become quite an important one later on. Uh, I think it's the last round. So we'll see how that progresses as we go through. Absolutely. And we'll also try and get some live updates of... Uh, how some of the uh, critical games that will uh, shape the uh, prize money today. So we'll make sure we we get uh, the results up for you so you know what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's uh, good. Just try and keep everybody on track with what's happening. I'll get my steps up today moving around and checking the scoreboards later on. So, yeah, another cracking day here this morning. Matt, I thought it was going to be... Uh, getting a little bit gloomy but clear blue skies again it is definitely colder though you've got your beanie on this morning absolutely with no hair mate that's got to happen <laughs> no but 17 degrees didn't look like a good forecast but uh, it's not overly windy the sun's out i think they'll be pretty happy yeah, here's a great first bowl here by maddie flapper bang wow he's woken up that coffee's obviously taking impact on him eh? very very good start straight on it holding three at this current point Buzz had a bit of a slow start to the uh, tournament, so uh, I think he's come into a bit more form. Yeah, they certainly did. I think the first two or three games that they had, they were a little bit behind. They've gone on a run of four games, I think it is, with their victories, and then 15th at the moment on eight points. Just got a positive margin, which is always handy. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, after a slow start, they've... Uh, played themselves into a position of potentially getting in the top 10 yeah and I, I reckon those two uh, Scotty and uh, Chris will be very very happy if they can push themselves up into that top 10 spot they're definitely looking like they're going to stay in the top 30 and get their invite back for next year which is I think great for everybody uh, I think that's a good little uh, incentive to make them keep trying until the end yeah absolutely <laughs> if you're out of it don't worry about it just get in there and get it here's a great shot here from buzz fantastic response going through was four down maybe three down and now only one down just the one down with a couple of seconds now so i'm buzz would be pretty happy with that in the first end we might just quickly uh have a look at the Top 10, will we, Stewie? Yeah, let's have a little run through. So we've got the Wirrilla Gorilla Boys. As I said, Jeremy Henry and Aaron T still the only undefeated side, sitting on 12 points. Fairly healthy margin of plus 36. You then go into your uh, Kiwi pair of Gary Lawson and Shannon McElroy, the old boys. Uh, still going very well, uh, sitting there with the five wins, and they've got a very healthy margin sitting with plus 55. Got a little bit of a tough game this morning. Uh, yeah, they're up they against do. Ryan Tainton and Tommy Hicks, who are sitting in 22 with three wins plus 13. Uh, I think they're probably a bit lower than where I thought I'd see Ryan Tainton, so I think this is a real danger game here for uh, Gary and Shannon. Yeah, I think there's going to be a couple of those games that, just the way the draws obviously worked out, there's going to be two or three of those that are uh, very important games, and I think whatever we're looking at for the top ten, uh, it's going to change a little bit today, uh, definitely in terms of the positions of where people are finishing, so incentives all round for those that are out in the green. If I'm not wrong, I think uh, Ryan Best and Cameron Keenan play Teddy and uh, Omar today, is that Right. Yeah, that's the final game of the day. Uh, so that'll be uh, all the big guns out. 
And I wouldn't let uh, the fact that uh, Sheriff and Marshall are sitting in 40th on two wins minus 19. I'm pretty sure that there'd be a lot of people thinking, wow. <laughs> It just shows you the quality of the field. Even the best of the best yeah. can uh, come up against it. We have had a word with both of them and made sure they're getting the resumes up to date because obviously if they fall outside that top 30, they don't get an automatic invo uh, invite next year. So, uh, yeah, we've told them they better start working on their resumes to make sure that they uh, cut the mustard to get the invite back next year should they miss out on that top 30. Did they laugh? <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> I think Omar's response to me was, do you want the full career or just the last six months? So yeah. <laughs> we said we'd take the last six months. That'll work. <laughs> uh, I think the last six months would cover most people here. Uh, small apologies, we've just got the wrong names up on the scoreboard. We'll just get that <laughs> rectified. Get them organised and sorted, yeah. And that was a big game, actually, just touching on those names that were on there. Ali and uh, Ali Forsyth and Ryan Burnett went down in a... It was a tight tussle until the second last Se end. Yeah, second last end. And just a bit of a, I suppose, a freakish kind of... Disaster, I think you call it. <laughs> uh, Ellie had a drive, missed it by a fair way. Got a little bit of luck to cut it back onto the jack when he was three down, but unfortunately she bounced forward, took his aim bowl out and was five down with ten feet yeah. for Brad Holland to draw the six. So that was the defining moment in the game. Yeah, because as you said, it was nip and tuck the whole way through and that a very, very tight game. And I think it was sitting at about... 10-11 at the time and that yeah gave uh, Brad and Guy the five shot lead going into the last yeah there's never a good time to lose a number but the second last end was not ideal didn't, didn't give you much chance to get back no. Buzz just snipping through there just missed the shot bowl yeah. and it's a one to flapper and low first end yeah good end there plenty of close balls in there let's see buzz's little conversion to push through he was unlucky not to get the result for him but from the position they were in i think they'd be happy with that yeah, i'd say they'll take the one down for now good to see them all getting close though settled in Good morning, Joyce, up in Port Macquarie. We have two games on today, which are the final two rounds, seven and eight, which will go back to back this morning. Uh, and that will be the event done for this year. So our games will be finished up around about quarter past one. Ross, we will try and see what we can do about getting that final game. I think the one with uh, Ryan and Cameron against Tati and Omar is the one that everybody wants to see. As I said, obviously with the way that the draw is set up, we need to be very careful how we put through, but uh, we will do our best to try and bring that one to you. And keep the comments coming through. It's been uh, very refreshing to see the positive remarks and, uh, yeah, seeing uh, we've already got 134 on at such an early time in the morning, so uh, really appreciate the support of this event. Absolutely, yeah. Welcome to everybody that's uh, listening in. We hope you enjoy the coverage. It's been an absolutely fantastic two days so far. Uh, bowlers are really enjoying it. We've had uh, great crowds down here at Moama Bowling Club as well. Host venue for the prestige pairs. And I think we'll look forward to seeing quite a few out today. As I said, conditions for it are absolutely perfect. Uh, if you are coming down, just maybe bring an extra couple of layers with you. Uh, but the sun is out. It's a beautiful day here. Bit of a scrappy end here from the uh, leaders to start with. Yeah, interesting. Just, as I say, switched on to it the first one and just the change coming back. There is a there is a difference in pace depending on whether you're playing away or towards the clubhouse. So just need to make that adjustment. And certainly early in the morning she's a little bit slipperier. Yeah. <laughs> and you'll find that uh, the green will probably slow up in about probably an hour, hour and a half. It'll slow up half a second to a second and, and that's where the players just got to keep uh, adjusting to what's going on. That's exactly it, yeah. Throughout the day they're always just having to make those little changes and that as they go through. Yeah, thanks Aaron. I think you might be the only one that's looking forward to hearing my voice at this time of the morning but uh, appreciate the uh, support. 
<laughs> Matty Flabba just gets a little touch here to his advantage to hold two. You'll find that uh, if they stick to the bank side here, it's a little bit more consistent. You see uh, a lot more <clears throat> closer bowls. Yeah, I have to admit, when uh, whenever I'm put on, particularly the direction they're playing in at the moment, I love playing the bank side heading down this way. Uh, I always find it's got a really nice finish on it. I always trust that my balls are going to come back in. And on that line we were talking about yesterday, having the confidence to go out to it, uh, I really find that playing on the bank side heading down towards the club. Yeah, and those that actually have played it have shown that they can be more consistent. Here's Matty Flapper. Yeah. Just coming in with a little bit of weight, but that's a great bowl there. And uh, Buzz once again, three down with his uh, second bowl. Yeah, just going to follow it down, try and land something in around those weights. Pretty good track here, just Not might bad. be short in the run. Yeah, just wants to try and... Still coming. Beautiful line. Yeah, found that again. That's all good, that'll give him confidence. Yeah, you see he went through about four or five feet with his first. Beautiful line, he's just made that correction, but just a little bit over. He still needed to get to probably that back white bowl was the weight he required. Yeah, and I think that'll be Scott's pro uh, job now. It means there'll be a switch over a hand for him, but I don't think that'll uh, bother him too much. Matty has got himself a cracker of a leader here, hasn't he? Yeah, he really has. It's a great combination here from Ocean Grove. Arguably one of Victoria's best ever skippers. Uh, sorry, leaders. Uh, oh, no, Stevie Sullivan, I'd put him up in yep. the same category. Yeah. I, I would never... Never try and deny that, but here he goes and just confirms what I said straight on. A very, very good draw bowler. Great to see his dad here today, Trevor. Oh, is he up as well? Yeah, yep. just wandering through. He's been here for a few days. Yep, but getting his morning brew. Yep, hasn't been real well, but he's just starting to feel like he's starting to come good, so yeah. great to see him around. Yeah, brilliant to see him up and about the club and out here supporting him. Uh just want to make a mention to Fiona Hall, who's just come on to uh, thank us for the commentary and stuff for that. I know Fiona's had a couple of health issues over the last little while, so it's great to see her up and about. She's always a great supporter of all the live stream events and that go out. So, yeah, shout out to you, Fiona. I hope you're feeling very better within yourself and going good. Uh, lovely to see you. She's up at in Queensland. What another great bowl there, boy. Lowy, he's just uh, trailed the jack. Probably not ideal, because it's opened it up for... Uh, uh, Scotty to play a bit of weight, I would feel. He's uh, not short on uh, having a bit of a go. Well, gets him back on the hand he's been enjoying. He's close to run into Buzzy, and yeah, he's probably still three there, four down. I'd be guessing, yeah, probably three, maybe four there. Matty will be either trying to clean this up a bit, try and move the jack, or he'll certainly get to the back with uh, Scotty's first bowl. It's Sit, sit on the back. I <laughs> nah, appreciate that, Kev. Looking out for us. We've got the heater cracking here, so we're uh, nice and toasty. <laughs> yep, so as you said there, uh, Max, uh, Flapper just swapping over. And as you can see, how much different that uh, <laughs> yeah. changing over hands with the pace. I think with himself as well, he nuked straight away that he just put it a little bit tight down the line. Very weight critical, this hand. Just looking for it to come through. Yeah, good weight there. Had to give it a chance. Has got a few at the back there, but I think there's one of them. Just yeah, there's one just in front of the rink marker right on the edge of the bank there from Lowy. Uh, Lowy. Yep. So, it's so they don't want to go too hard here. No. They they want to. Oh, Matty just missed the line again. Yeah. Beautiful weight again. I think, yeah, like you say, Buzz doesn't need to go too hard. He's got Lowy's out wing ball there that you can play off as well if he needs it. He's only looking to push it back here. Well, draw short or just push it back a couple of feet. I think he's played a little bit more weight here. But he's under the line yeah, considerably. Well, they're already starting to peel them before she comes, so <laughs> Scott is keen. he's pretty keen to count them and get off. <laughs> okay, they, they've pulled two out. 
it looks like it might be a two-way measure here between a couple of Lowy's bowls. That'll be three. That's a definite one there, yep. And I have a feeling that this one's going to be pretty much, yeah. That's a four, I think. Yep. Four shots. I think the count there was four. Flapper and low, that gets him on to five zip after two ends. So, Matty got the start that he required, or would have liked to have got. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they've definitely been the most consistent. You can, yeah, just with the position of both low and Flapper's balls uh, around that, all within a foot. Yep, stretching it out. Yeah, this is nearly the first time of, uh, in all the games that we've called that someone's actually gone ditch to ditch, for yeah. a true ditch to ditch. No, absolutely. It's definitely the first one that I've witnessed on this rink here. A fair bit of support here for the Grovers. They're a very tight-knit community down there at the Grovers. And they're uh, obviously with Matty and Tyson Cromie down there. They've, uh, as the uh, coordinators, they've got a, equally like yourselves, you know, doing a lot for the bowls in that area, especially for the younger guys and yeah. girls. Yeah, no, Matt's a big character in Bulls Victoria. He's a big character in uh, Bulls in Australia. But, yeah, he does an awful lot for the state and, as you said, has created a very, very positive culture down there at Ocean Grove. And... Young Tyson's come in and joined the team just over a year ago, I think, now. And, uh, yeah, he's a cracking young lad. Uh, very, very polite, uh, well-mannered. He's a good lad. We like it when they come up and visit us here and uh, are in about the club. Well, it's already shown at state level. Yeah. Made his debut this year and uh, managed to get the player of the series over in uh, the Alley Shield. So for a, a player that's only played one season... That is a magnificent result for that young bloke. And also, just a shout-out to um, uh, Brad Pavey as well, yeah. who's managed to uh, get into the state side. And he also, he was right up there in the um, player of the series. So, for Matty, I'm uh, pretty sure he'd be pretty happy to see his little protégés going really well. Oh, yeah, I could imagine he's like a proud popper with that in there. Well, I think, yeah, big shout to Tyson for that. I think that just speaks volumes about exactly who he is as a... As a young man and the way he goes about his game and how he carries himself. So, yeah, big congratulations to Tyson but, on that one. But even in with the girls, you know, Kira Burke, she's uh, she started down that way and played there. And now she's up there, I think, in Queen... Uh, 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 <coughs> Tweed. Tweed? Yeah. Going, going great guns. Going great there. guns ever since she's left there and gone up there for, for whatever reason. Mm. She's obviously learned a lot from Maddie. And, yeah, you know, it's just amazing for Bowles Victoria to have... Matty Flapper that's played over 400 games for Victoria uh, to be the mentor and coach of that um, under-18 side and after their victory in the Nationals just shows that we're on a winner there, aren't we? Yeah, and I think... Great you know, bowl there from Matty on cue. It takes, a, it takes a lot of courage for some of these youngsters to make those moves, uh, you know, getting away from home, getting away from the clubs that they've grown up in and where they're very settled, uh, but, you know, looking for that progress and to look at the next steps like Kira has done. Uh, we've had a couple here who, you know, are a lot more local, but they've uh, made that decision to just move away from the clubs that they were brought up in and playing and to just find some opportunities to allow them to develop. Absolutely. And uh, just a shout-out to James Johnson. Good morning, fellas, from Ballock or Borlock in Scotland. Did you know that? I was wondering how you were going to go with that. Well, how do I go? Ballock. <laughs> Ballock, all right, got it. <laughs> I like it was a bad though. <laughs> Another good ball here from Matt Flapper. Yeah, the weight control on that is absolutely incredible. Well, uh, Stewie, we may actually be related because both my sides of the family come from Scotland. I can't understand you, but uh, <laughs> we've definitely uh, got a bit of Scottish background in us. So, uh, oh, but well, that last name of yours definitely. Yes, traced all the way back to Robert the Bruce. Oh, wow. Look out. She was. I better I behave myself then. I might uh, deal with royalty here. <laughs> uh, I don't know what Jim, uh, James Johnson's crying at, whether it was uh, Matty's pronunciation. Poor attempt. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like the bollock one. That one's probably my favourite way you try to pronounce bollock. <laughs> I uh, actually, I'll, I, I should have a bit of a head start on the accent as um, one of my best mates, Jock Hasty, who just turned 80 the other day from Golden Valley. Uh, he's came out as a 10 pound pom back in the in the 60s, and he's still got the thickest accent you'll hear. So, if I break into a bit of accent, <laughs> I apologise. I'm not being disrespectful. It's just habit. Oh, ball here from Lloyd. Just going to use that. Still just holding two, but has very good position with that low bowl behind. Scotty having a little run here. Just hitting one of the short ones of his own. Oh, no, lowies. Now, yeah, we'll just Kara's Lloyd, you go back in, try and find the lane underneath this previous one. Got the backest as well at the moment, so... Yeah, low if he's trying to play a full draw here. You're trying to trail a jack round yeah. behind Matty and take that target away. He's on a fairly good track here. We've got a good shot of the back end of uh, Matty. Yeah, he was just looking to sneak under. He's just clipped the edge of his own. He had really good weight. He got down to Matty's bowl on that. He would have changed it up nicely. There is enough room, but either side for the bowl to go through, so... Just need to be careful on how they go about it, or they'll um, potentially be facing another big number here. More weight. Oh, he oh. snicked the jack and <laughs> moved it about two inches with a full drive there. <laughs> Very unlucky, Bowl. He shrugs the shoulders as if to say, I'm a little unlucky there. <laughs> Absolutely whispered by it and just blew it across, I think, more than touched it. That was incredible. But in saying that, he now leaves Buzz a lot better shot to play with the toucher in the pit and the jack a bit closer to the bowl, so the target's a little wider now. Um, may see him come up the other hand now, looking for the jack up well, between their bowls. Yeah, it was interesting just before Scotty went for that shot that they were talking about potentially coming up on his forehand and looking uh, to come round onto the shot ball there as it stands. From where we're sitting, there is a lovely line that's just coming around the, the short one there, so... I think there's also, if he wants to go bigger, he could probably nearly come under his own bowl. Yep. Looking for the white, getting the jack. We'll see. I know Matthew won't want to leave this here at all. He'll, he'll try and cover that jack or get it out to the uh, left of screen here where Lowy's got one. Try and change it up. Well, he's already played two absolute blinders down on this hand, but his first two, so he just needs to repeat it. He's got her out on a fairly good line here. He's... He's out fairly wide, and he's just around. He's played this magnificently. Touch her off as well, potentially. Oh, oh he's, he's got another bowl right yeah. up the back. Probably holding three there, I believe. Be close to it, two to measure. Buzz, a little bit of second guessing here. I think he wants to go hard. Yeah, th that's his uh, instinct <laughs> definitely there, I think, is just to go through it and... If that's what he's going for, he's got to do this confidently, no? Wondering. Welcome, Anthony Flapper. Coach of the... Uh, or chairman of selectors of the over-60s men's state side who uh, finished second in the nationals and managed to get the gold overall with the ladies winning theirs. Yeah. And also come back from uh, being a selector into playing Glenn. skip for Victoria and he played very well over in uh, Western Australia against some obviously good op <laughs> opposition. Very good opposition. Yeah, no, I'm fortunate enough to uh, be on that selection committee with uh, Anthony. So good morning to you, Anthony. Good to have you on board. Matty's out on a good line again and he wouldn't mind just touching this jack a fraction. He's just coming in on a good line. He is. And he's played exactly the same bowl as he played before, but probably holding uh, four or five here. Picture of consistency there. Just, you know, same ball, time after time, and he's nailed it. Just sneaking around that front orange and blue. And he's just playing searching weight here, Buzz. Looking for that port between Lowy's bowl and his own, and he's just a bit high here. He doesn't want to knock an... Oh, he's knocked another one in. Yeah, you just get a sense that potentially the need to just go f on the first one was probably there. Even if it just cleared a couple out and opened it up, there was a 
a game changer be needed on that. Lowy just puts up five fingers. It's been the perfect start for the flapper combination. I'm sure Buzz would like to have a restart of this game. But 15 ends, plenty of time. Yeah, I might need to go down and remember Buzz about his promise to me last night. He said he was going to put on a show. I didn't realise he was a... Bad show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll come for me. Look, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure Matty and Lowy would have gone in as red-hot favourites in this game. Yeah. And they've probably started as good, if not better, than what you would have expected. But I don't think these boys will uh, lay down. Not at all. And, I mean, you know, Matt is fairly familiar with these greens. He knows them well. He's played the state championships up here. He's played region sides up here. Uh, he comes up for our May Carnival. So, yeah, he's not exactly a stranger. We've also got another flapper on the line. Alana's on here. Thinks it was a bit funny. Uh, great to hit, see you on there. You were one of the promising young bowlers in Victoria, and I'm sure you'll get back up there. And the Ron Ash Vestes just locked on. He was a uh, played pennant with us last year. Lowy, beautiful line with his first bowl. But as most of these good players do, if they make a mistake, they're up. Up, yeah. He won't be overly unhappy with it. Pretty good track here from Scotty. If he just gets the run. Yeah, it's gone well. Not a bad starter. That'll be good. It'll give him a little bit more confidence. I think he's been... Just struggling a little bit to get his first couple away, so. Yeah, both uh, Scotty and Buzz have just just battled with getting bowls in the head to start with yeah. here and, and allowing the numbers to build. Well, he just slips by there. He won't be happy with that. He would have felt he could just draw around that, so. But once again, lovely yeah, position. the position, yeah. So give Scotty an opportunity. He's on a nice line here again. Definitely beating his last. We've got a fair bit of support here for Buzz and Scotty too. Grant Gibbos, uh, send out a go Buzz comment. Good to see. And we're still seeing some smiles here in the middle of the green, so. Buzz has been playing all of about five minutes. Got ace, <laughs> he's just called out and uh, said he's given him a head start, but he's. Yeah, he's ready to go now. That's it. Yep. Matty wouldn't have been too happy there. It was his mat. And they're having a bit of a conversation in the middle. Or so he'll turn on here. Yeah, it's amazing how those little bits and pieces can uh, have a bit of an impact, isn't it? And just, just for the, the club bowlers out there, just remember, if someone has got the mat, it's not your... You either stay at the head yeah. and talk to your third or you make sure you walk through and then when it's your bowl, go back. Because oh. I can tell you that can end up pretty poorly if you're in a tight game it's been a it's been a big talking point with us for the start of our pennant season this year about our etiquette for ourselves and how we conduct ourselves and that's one of the big things we've talked about the possession of the rink and when you can stop and have a chat and when you shouldn't be doing it so well, you certainly shouldn't do it when you haven't got the mat on Absolutely. the changeover and not having a go at them i'm just pointing yep. out and i'm sure they never even thought about it there no. and he would have realized as soon as he saw maddie on the mat oh, i better get up there better get out Yeah, it doesn't seem to have disrupted Matt's rhythm too much. Uh, he's played a ripper there to make two. <laughs> After Buzz, had, Buzz and Scotty had two good bowls in there, but he the class of Matty is just yeah. shown here. He really is just shown yeah, his ability and his talent here. It's great to watch. Very, that, very good. That particular bowl is the bowl you want to bowl every bowl. A full draw. If you miss the jack, you're sitting on 18 inches behind or you trail the jack. Well, great reply here from Buzz. Fantastic. Well, having a little look. Could even be shot. If not, it's a good second. All right. Let's see how Louie gets on. He's been pretty tidy so far.
We see some of the locals coming in already. If you're not doing anything today, get down here to the Moama Bowls Club and uh, see what happens. She's the moving day today. It's definitely moving day today, and I think, uh, yeah, the last round of matches, we're going to see some pretty uh, exciting games. There's definitely going to be quite a few with meaning. Looks like it might be a career change for you, uh, Stewie. Yeah, Hobdo up there at Broad Beach. He's a good man. Uh, very, very good for his club up there at Broad Beach. And uh, yeah, always looks after me when I head up there. So yeah, good morning to you, Hobdo. Thanks very much for the comments. I reckon I'll stay uh, more in the club admin bit before I uh, think of branching out professionally into this. I was a bit interested this morning. I saw the Fox bus in the car park. I thought maybe they were coming up to recruit you. <laughs> Funny story on that one. I, I actually got to um, commentate in the Oz, in the Vic Open women's final, and guess who was in there as a guest commentator? Who was that? Joey Montagna from St Kilda. Fox sent him up to get a bit of experience, just commentating the yeah. bowls and stuff like that. And he Fantastic. likes the bowls. And uh, we ended up getting him out there, having a bit of a four-end playoff with Barry Lester. Fantastic! That would be brilliant. It was even better when Baz got done. <laughs> It was quite amusing. He was leerizing a bit, and yep. Joey got a good one in there and fixed him. <laughs> ah, Baz, love that, the beauty of balls. Baz was playing up to the crowd and yep. trying to put a bit of a show on, but it was, yeah, quite amusing. And as you see now, Joey's a accomplished commentator on the Fox footy. Yeah. So you never know, Stewie. This could be the breeding ground. No, nah, it's been very good, BV. We've done a, we were actually doing a, a workshop with Jack Heron a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and that's how BV or Bulls Victoria are treating this commentary. In what their a live great stream. bowl here, Stewie. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, in, probably still holding one. This has been probably the pick of the ends as in draw bowls. Certainly from the seconds on, they've uh, piled them in here. Yeah, Chris couldn't do anything but just go and give Matty a high five when that one went in there. Just a great show of respect and appreciation for just how good that ball was. Yeah. Buzz has put this out on a fairly good line here. Has he got the carry? Just got to move. He got a little... Oh, he's a bit unlucky. Oh. He got a little flick. He would, probably would have had the jack in the guts there out to two of his own. I think he would have. That's, yeah, thinnest the margins there and just gives him the flick. Louis showing one for uh, to them. Matty will be just looking to full draw to that... Uh, Orange bowl of Scotty's trying to lay it down and make a three. He's out on a reasonable line, just a touch high. That was the way he was looking, yeah, just to get a bit far. of contact. Buzz has just got to be a bit careful. He doesn't overplay it and get his own. He, he's really got to get to the dead draw to his own here. He doesn't want to go peeling that out. Yeah, big ball here. Wants to get the shot, get themselves on the board. Pretty good track. Just a fraction over. Yeah, find that seam. What did we see there? I think it was... Louis seemed confident that he had it. But they are going to the tape. Good to see that, you know... Bit of a decision to be made. Straight down on the knees. That's get the tape out. Don't walk around with the fingers and deliberate. Just measure it. Yeah, have your dance from five angles. Yeah. <laughs> and then measure. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think I've got it. What do you think? Well, I think I've got it. Yep. They the one. They haven't said one or two here. I'm guessing it's only one. Yep, I think we'll go with that. Just the one. I'm going to take you through to the end of this one and then I think we'll have our uh, Sophie coming back in again. I've been very fortunate to have Sophie come up. She's a, a very, very, very busy young woman. She's finishing off her final week of her degree, which I do believe finishes this week. She's got to go back for work today. She's come up to help us out here. Uh, so, yeah, no, we're very, very fortunate. 
and blessed to have her as a part of the crew. So I'm going to sign off for just now. I'll maybe come back and join you on. Robo, enjoy your morning and uh, I'll speak to you soon. No worries, mate. You might even go and get a few uh, scores for I us. I might. I might. In a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Righto. Scotty just coming in a touch tight here. Reasonable weight. Morning, Soph. Good morning, Robbo. Welcome back. Thank you. I was just finishing off <laughs> a couple of uni assignments. Look at you go. Oh, last week. Can't, can't uh, you know, pull away now. So finish them off and get the degree done. Nice bowl there from Very Peter nice Lowe. Bowl. Yeah, well, wish you all the best with that. Thank you. Is this the end of your degree? Yes, the end of my first one. Yes, I'll have a bachelor's after this, which is exciting. Beautiful. And then I'll hear you love school that much you're going back. I am, yes. I've applied for a master's degree in physiotherapy. So fingers crossed and hopefully all goes well. Oh, from everyone, we wish you all the best. Thank you. Just hope you can still balance a bit of bowls with oh, it as well. Always. It always finds its way in. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Bit of a uh, blowout in the start of this game. A little bit, yeah. Buzz came in with a bit of a buzz going. It's barely a moment mm -hmm, here. Yes. Um, last end was a good sign that, you know, they're just starting to get the weight and yeah, some really nice draw a little, bowls. A little sneak peek, so, yes. And that's on a pretty good track with that one, if we know anything about the line. Probably just going to cut under, but may good sit the to Bosch and bowl. Enough for another almost, I'd say. Very close. Buzz getting out here on the wider hand. He looks reasonable here. He's got it out into the area it'll come from. Yeah, absolutely. There's a just bit of a swoop. I think he's failing in the run here. Gets in front of that one. Ooh, great track. And you'll see Matty. Flap here, he'll make the correction. He'll go out a little yeah, bit wider right. and add a couple of feet. And he drew a couple of lovely ones ditch to ditch Certainly last time there. going this way. Absolutely. Which you'd back him in almost any day of the week to do. Yeah, and here he comes. He's made the correction. Still hasn't quite got the run, but he's certainly out on yeah. a far better track there. You'll find Buzz will make sure he reaches with this one. I was going to say, he's probably, Matt's probably glad he didn't leave another one sort of on. A little bit closer jack high, to be fair, because this could be right in Buzz's line. He's just, you're right, spot on there, so well picked up. <laughs> That's still a nice guide there to play that, you know, that metre meter over just to hold that little bit more. It is hard, like we said yesterday, though, it is hard to play, you know, that metre, metre and a half perfect sort of trail the jack weight, especially with a few bowls in your way. Absolutely. You may even see a switch here from... Buzz, he has got a nice shot underneath going through his own bowl and back to the shot bowls. Yeah, definitely. I think if he's going to play the big wide hand, he'd actually have to have too much weight to be yeah. ditch weight. So yep, yep. if he's going to play minimal weight, I believe he'll come up underneath. If he's going to have a go, he'll probably mm. try and rip the two bowls. And I think you're based on what I'm looking. Peter's swapped over to his backhand. Yeah, I think you'll find there'll be a cover bowl coming out I the side so. here. I think so. Just splitting the two oranges would be... No, he's actually game. playing an aggressive line. The shot I thought Buzz okay. would play underneath. He's just missed his line a little bit, I think. Beautiful weight. Yeah, it was beautiful weight. Probably just trying to draw to the jack eye orange so. and just come inside. Yeah, definitely. Here we go. We got weight from Scotty. Definitely got a few things He's got here. the front one onto the jack and cool. we have a dead end and bang into the step again. <laughs> There's an aluminium step in the corner to help anyone well, out. You just, you just, yeah, you hear the bang and you know what's happened. I wouldn't like my bowl to get smashed <laughs> into it. <laughs> I don't think so. We did have a bowl connected the other day, and I thought, geez, I'd hate that to be mine. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it does make a, a large noise. We're seeing a lot of support here for the Grovers this morning. Oh yes. We're certainly uh, getting some good feedback, which is great to hear. You know, 20 years ago there was, or even 10 years ago, there was none of this stuff. So it just helps people that mightn't have been able to make it. 
and they've got a bit of downtime, they just whack her on the TV. Watch a bit of bowls. Airdrop it to, oh, after my operation, I was sitting there watching the Nationals and stuff like that. It was, it's just great. You've always got something to watch. Yeah. And it's happening everywhere now, too. Oh, you're exactly right. There's always one of the states live streaming an event somewhere. And even back to Friday night, I think it was Deer Park playing Clayton. Yes. On the live stream. Which and I, uh, I also commented. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always somewhere. Well, maybe you might be up for a promotion, so. Oh, honestly, I, I seem to, see people seem to hear me before they see me these days. Yeah, that was someone uh, put it out there this morning mm -hmm. that Stewie might turn professional as a commentator. He does do a good job. I just mentioned the Fox bus. I thought they were up here this morning <laughs> trying to recruit. Good response there. There's a, a, a common thought on this green that you need to really play a tight line. Yeah. This is the one hand out near the ditch where it's a little bit quicker on this hand because of where it's pulled tight to the ditch. And they're just coming inside their line afraid it's not going to turn. But those who trust it, like Lowy here. Pretty, pretty well. It will come quite Very consistently. And for those who are watching, you probably don't realise that uh, you know, the inside of the green is probably a second, second and a half mm. slower than the outside. So it's not as easy as you think as a no. nice calm carpet inside. No, it's not. Just overplaying the weight a little. What do you think of those shoes, Soph? They're certainly um, visible. <laughs> visible? That'd be something you'd wear fishing in case you go <laughs> overboard. I do love orange, though, so I will say that I like them. Matches the orange bowls. Does match the orange bowls, yes. Ah, good sportsmanship there. It Just is, see yeah. that, Matty Flapper. Four, over 400 state games and Australian games, and he's still handing mm -hmm. the bowl to the opposition. That's... That's great to see that... It is. He's a classy player, Matty. Good friends and and also good etiquette. That's what Absolutely, we like to see. Absolutely, yeah. <coughs> now, Matty's bowl turned enough to touch the orange and actually finish as if... It, now, it looks like he did play the backhand, so... Yeah. The bowl almost did a 360. You would think that. Sitting be beautifully on the line in. <laughs> Buzz following a similar track. Yeah, reasonable way. You can weight. see that the, you know, the, the inside circle is almost facing back at our players here from where they've left, let it go. So just shows, you know, that, like you said, Robert, that extra second quicker can make those balls turn and they are flopping back towards the player. So almost on a 90 degree angle. So you really have to trust that line. Absolutely. And you see Maddie there make the correction that Absolutely. was required and rewarded for the... For the faith. Absolutely. Now, there's three down here. Plenty of options to sort of sit and... Yeah, and Buzz is thrown around. Nothing for short here. Coming now. Has he got the run? Needs to hurry. Ooh. Definitely helps. Oh, I think that's nearly shot, so... Could be. I think the white one might still just beat him, but he, I th he's very close for second or third here. He's having a good look. Very handy from Buzz when you're three down. But just have a look at the weight. When you have a look at the bowls, all mm. fairly much within a 18 inches of the, the right weight. You're exactly right. So it just shows that, you know, the weight they're starting to get, but still just battling a little bit with mm. the line. But as this game goes on, I think you'll see them go. Kevy's on the, we've got our roving reporter, going to give us some live updates on... Yeah, uh, got his little flip notebook going. Yeah, no, he looks important, doesn't he? Don't he likes to look important. He is important here, I should say. But I think the He's notebook very definitely important. helps. <laughs> 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 no, lovely bloke, Kev. He's uh, done a great job and, yeah, all I see is smiles around here. But we'll try and get you some updates of uh, some of the critical games that will shape this final ten. Mm. Scotty's played a good bowl here, and uh, that's uh, definitely the shot. Peter Lowe just going to be looking to try and uh, 
get a little bit of contact on the jack here. And yeah. They've I got great so. position. You'd be liking to sit the bowl or trail the jack mm. round. Matthew's looking at it, and this is a pretty good line. He's just going to hang past. Oof. Oh. Yep, Scotty taking another good line here. I think he's. Oh, he might want to watch the jack here. Oh, and he's got a unlucky result there. He played a reasonable bowl. Mm. Unfortunately, the line was a bit under, and uh, he's flicked the jack back for a couple down. Probably three. So after this is today's update sheet. I'm just safe. having a look. Who do you? Who's your favourite from here? From here, well, yesterday I did say Corey and Gaz, but they um, had a couple of stiff results. So Jeremy and Teasy are on a, a very, very uh, successful rampage so far. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting them out for, you know, going undefeated. Um, you know, one loss and, you know, another five come into play. So um, I will back uh, Jezza and Teasy, and I think I think they're on a a good track together but they are out on the grass today so anything can happen yes here comes Matty with a bit of weight he's just, just high yep. yeah obviously on this carpet the more weight you play the straighter they go you need mm. to really play the bowl or more inside the yeah. line you think yep as it it doesn't quite react the same as the grass greens yeah yeah this is a fairly good yeah, try here played this pretty well you know, Flick the jack again, but it's to his advantage. And one, he'll be holding two. shot. Probably, probably plus the toucher in the pit. So, first time Matty's really been put put under a bit of pressure here. We'll see how he responds to this. Or so pretty confident he could uh, draw this, but the further you get out there, the harder it gets. Absolutely. And he's just pushed it too hard and just gone in by a foot or so. You see how straight that mm. runs out near the boundary. So we will see a score from Buzz's side here, which is probably nice for him to jump off the, the zero. Righto, Andrea. We've got a... I'll do a little update on the top ten for you. We've got Jeremy Henry and Aaron Tees undefeated. 12 points, 36 shots up. Second is the Kiwi champions, Gary Lawson, Shannon McElroy. Five wins and a loss, 55 shots up. Uh, Greg Podesta and Brad Mariner in third on 10 points, plus 54. Last year's winners, Ryan Bester and Cameron Keenan. Five wins, one loss, thir plus 36. Then we have our current live stream game here. Uh, Matty Flapper and Peter Lowe are on five wins, one loss, plus 30. So, you know, you feel that the winner may come from them. Um, yeah, then we've got Ali Forsyth and Ryan Burnett. Uh, and I think they actually play Jezza and Teasy today. Possibly, yeah, definitely. And we'll just stop there for a second. And, Soph, you've got the big news. I have got big score news. updates. And there is a few sort of close ones, unexpected ones. So we'll start off with Jeremy Henry and... Aaron Tees, currently 9-4 up. Gary Lawson, Shannon McIlroy, 3-9 down. Ooh. Um, Brad Marin's rink, 10-1 up. Cam Keen and Ryan Bester, 3-9 down. Ooh. Ali, uh, sorry, Matt Flapper, who we're watching here, was 11-0. I believe he'd be 11-2 now. Was it two shots in the I end? I think yes. it was. That's what I'm crediting okay. with anyway. <laughs> Ali Forsyth, 10-2 up with Ryan Burnett. Uh, Nathan Black, two all, so a close one there. Geez, not many ends done. No, definitely not. Um, we've got Brad Pavey, Brett Marnie, five two up. Uh, Benny Hubber and Josh Corliss, ten zero. Uh, sorry, eight zero up. And uh, Gary Kelly, Corey Wedlock, three five down. And Kev's put Jimmy Whitehead's score down the bottom here. He's three four. Oh, we always got to check Jimmy out. Yeah. Keep him honest. So definitely a few. Uh, Few of the, you know, the the top ones that are currently down, but obviously early days and great bowls there from Peter Lowe. Absolutely.
and a, a few close ones to come by the looks. So there's your score updates, guys. As we see Peter Lowe absolutely nailing what we would say a lead should be doing. So so just quickly get back to the top ten. We had Ali Please. Forsyth and Ryan Burnett in sixth spot with uh, four wins and a draw, plus 30. Uh, on their own and on nine points. And then there's a big list of uh, teams is from 7th to 17th are all on four wins, mm. two losses. And we've gone from uh, minus two shots uh, down mm -hmm. to plus 39. So shots will be very important I for any so. of those teams because yeah. you could nearly find probably not the winner, coming out of this, but you'll certainly find that uh, this will be the area that will make up the top ten. Absolutely. Buzz has put a really handy bowl in there. Um, definitely third shot. As we see Matt just across the head. And just quickly in order of those ones on four wins, you've got Ben Bowen, Nathan Black, Brad Pavey, Brett Marnie, Ben Hubber, Josh Corliss, Corey Wedlock, Gary Kelly, Brody Harker, Ben MacArthur, Neil Devlin and Michael Wil Wilkes, the People's Champion, mm -hmm. uh, Joseph Clark and Ben Twist, Craig, Mata uh, Craig McCarran and Ben Towner, Chris Burrell and Scotty Boschen on our show court here, uh, James McGilvray and Mark Smith, and to, to round out that top 17 that are on uh, uh, four wins is uh, my rank, Brad Holland and Guy Madigan. I'm still taking some. Oh, I said to him, I've got to get a cut, surely, if you get in there. Matt Flapper has just drawn the absolute, as we saw Buzz play a bomb before to get the, the three-shot turnaround and go from two down to one up. So back to one down. So you'll see Scotty Washington probably playing something similar, just sitting that bowl, touching the jack to his own. I think that's a... Sorry, not to his own. That's Peter's. But, yeah, you'll see some form of contact with the jack, I'd say, here. Nothing for short. Doesn't need big weight here. He's, he's no, just trying just to enough. splash. He's actually on a reasonable line he's here. He's on a very good path here. Just going to hang past. Great. That's probably perfect weight for it too, just to halve that jack over to his own. That's all you really need. Probably just wants the bowl first, then yeah, a little bit of the jack. Bit Pop the it jack. out the side. Yeah. Gentle little slide. because the split of the two is lovely as well. The big heavy jacks roll <laughs> quite. <laughs> you don't have to touch they them hard do. to get them to run. No, we've actually got a three on that uh, last end if the scores are correct. So, apologise for that. Here we go. We'll update that. Not a bad position bowl from <coughs> Peter Lowe. Finishing on that side of the head is probably really handy. Yeah, he doesn't have to make a big correction here. He want to keep the same weight and just a touch tighter, but I think he's thrown it out too far again. thrown it out. Had a tad less weight on it too, so I probably would have expected it to turn, but just, just played it that little bit high. Oh, he's got a fairly good track here. He wants to finish on the wide side here. Yeah, yeah played, played it very well. well there. Hello, Lucas. I'm going very well. How are you going? My fellow Jackaroo friend. And I saw Kaz's comment up above. Good morning, Sophie. Have you got that special bag with you today? Kaz was very impressed that uh, my handbag carries absolutely everything someone would need from first aid to lip balm, sunscreen. It's like Mary Poppins bag and everyone finds it quite amusing. So yes, I do have my special bag with me today. Well, thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit concerned. No, always just the handbag. It's got absolutely everything in it. It's way too heavy. Buzz just hanging out wide there as well. Yeah, just slightly. You can't afford to skin it too much, but no. it'll get away. So it's a very fine line It is, yeah. on playing this. You're probably one of the harder shots to play yeah. here is that yard on a weight. Yep. And then, you know, any, any splice now, you're probably going to go worse. You will also opens up the opportunity, Matt. Uh, the big grin on his face is, do I just tuck that over there myself? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure he'd be happy where it's sitting. Having a giggle between the two of them. 
Uh, he's oh, he's going to try it, I think. I think he is. I think he's going to try the make a big number here. And he's watching it quite hard. He's on he's a, on a good really track. good line, yes. Just needs that last bit of turn too. He is close. He's very close. Well, he's made made two and a look, yeah, maybe, because it did rock that bowl up. That yes, it did. Very well played to not have that flop back. So perfect weight there for Maddie. Yeah. Very good shot. Just shows when you get yourself some good position, what was the danger before yeah. can actually be used to make yeah. a number. And honestly, yeah, once again, if Buzz probably plays that same bowl, you're not almost likely to go fall down. So I think we're going to see, based on the lineup, some weight. But yeah. I'm thinking, oh, we've got a second thought. Oh, he's gone big weight. He's just a fraction high. And I think she'll be... Two and a look here. Yep. Two. So does he play the shot again? No, I think he just draws down, lays his own over for I five. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, There's a bit of banter there between Lowy and Matty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, don't you trust me? <laughs> I, do, I don't. I'm going to, well, I can't touch wood because, you know, but I, I don't see this going bad for Matt if he has the same weight. I can't see it giving away the shot with that draw weight. But, you know, stranger things have happened. We saw Ali Forsyth play a, play a very unlucky bowl yesterday, so you never rule out anything. Yeah, no, he was devastated after the game over that. He yeah. was... Yeah, only a couple in it in the game overall, and yeah. to drop a six on the second last end was, yeah, was, was tragic for him. Matt's played this he's pretty close. well. Oh, I think he's played this real well. And that's oh, Matt. oh you think he's just turned his own one out, but probably no still two. Result. But that is Matt Flapper class to get three within a foot is. Geez, he was close. Just pulled a little bit at the end there. If he got and the outside edge, five shots. And there is three last balls too. So the correction made from the first one. So Very classy. I think we flopper. got a two there. Yes. Brings it to 13-3 after six. So long way to go. Not even halfway yet for these guys. So I think Buzz and Scotty would be wanting to get another another multiple on the board just to keep it tight. What's up in here? Managed to clear something out here, so I might have to get there you, you to take over here. You've done well, <laughs> no, you've fixed it. Fixed. Never been, never professed to be a, uh, <laughs> a computer guru. Great start here from Lowy. Beautiful line, nice full draw. Front toucher, ditch to ditch. If you're a skipper, that's what you need. <laughs> You'd take that any day of the week. Oh, definitely, yeah. <coughs> Scotty's played this pretty well. Adjusting. Played with very good weight oh. here. Now, if the jack had a stayed, it's, <laughs> it's a fantastic <laughs> shot, but just coming to uh, second. Very good bowl, but there. Just had to get one close to... Yeah, absolutely. ...take the pressure off and... Leaves him a chance to be able to pop that toucher out reasonably yeah. clean without moving the jack. I think so. Lowy's done the switch. He's on a pretty good track too. Yeah, wherever this finishes should be good. Left enough room that there's a hole if they go chasing. Absolutely. Yeah, didn't give much. He took a bit much, or took some off and missed the line. He won't be happy with that. <coughs> Buzz just uh, letting us know how happy he is that he's uh, on the board. He hasn't got his uh, Sunday underwear on, I guess, so he didn't want to have to uh, mm -hmm. drop the pants. But uh, no, he's, uh, they're on the board and... I don't think it'll be the last shot they get. No, I don't think. Ooh. 
there goes the result. There goes the scores. <laughs> Little breezy still this morning. Yeah, Maddie playing a reasonable line. Oh, he's just starting to go under, but he'll come to a very good home here. Wait there from Buzz. Yeah, that's exactly. And you know, leaving it in a spot where a trail is now worth more is not a bad miss. A comment come in there that uh, not bad leading from a premier skipper from Lowy. And uh, if you miss the uh, telecast earlier, oh, good bowl there from Maddie. What a shot! Rolls a toucher right in front. Um, yeah, just letting people know that Lowy's been one of the all-time mm. state leaders and probably one of the most unluckiest players never to play for Australia, I believe. Mm. And I don't think I'm the only one that has that view. Very, very good player. The only other... Well, I don't want to cut too many people out, but Stevie Sullivan I put up in the same category. Also a very good player. Good track here from Buzz, whether he gets a little bit of a... Uh, if it stays, no, it didn't stay up. Probably the right shot to be playing, I think, sort of working off Maddie's outside one or sitting that ball through and staying around to help the damage would be a good shot. Probably just wants to get one to stay up the back. I think so, yeah, just something to work with. Yeah, you play with a yard of weight there, come off Maddie's bowl, you can get a nice mm. little run off these uh, on the carpet. Yeah. Crowd starting to build this morning, which is great to see. Well, this is the end where all the money gets dished. Yes, so exactly right. It's the pointy end. Maybe a few boys have probably done a bit of damage in the club last night and the night before. <laughs> that probably looking for a bit of a payback. <laughs> and here we go again. Lowy just out on a really good line here. Sort of giving Buzz another one to work with, but, you know, has to be done first. I Sorry, not Buzz. Scotty? I think you'll find Scotty will play a bit more weight here and there's a, a very good shot off that last bowl yeah. of Lowy's. He has played, he is pretty high, but... Yeah, I think he's a bit quick to turn there. Yeah, Matty, as you saw, he was a bit of a, a clap, but... Oh. Yeah, the, <laughs> yep. The good effort, but... Yeah, bad. and as he's called straight away to change that up, we don't yeah. want to leave that there. And that's the difference when you see the good players to your everyday players. You know, they're never happy with the way a head sit and most yep. people just draw another one, but they're always looking to make the head better yeah. and yep. defend because they have respect for the players they're playing. He's played it pretty well, just needs to... Through the hole would be better for him. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie's got a wry <laughs> smile. Bigger target now. Buzz calling just to hit something. Yeah, get it in the pit, even if he's one down, it's a lot better than where he's at. Matty gets a little touch on it, he could be a lot down, so he's played bigger weight here. Got something. And there it is. Unlucky. <laughs> but a better two down than, you know, what it was. Got so. the result Good off shot. Lowy's bowl as we suggested. Bit unlucky with the result, but certainly leaves him a lot easier shot to uh, access the jack there. And, uh, touch her in the pit so all in all mm -hmm. they'd be a little disappointed that they're still two down yeah but they'd be a lot happier with the position there I now think so i think so especially not having the toucher loaded on the jack definitely helps with with playing certain shots Maddie will be trying to clean this up a bit. He's just, just hanging out. out there. Yeah, well, okay. Thought that was coming under. Yeah, got the backers bowl on the green, though, so... 
Except no. for the toucher in the ditch. Oh, that's true. Sorry, yes. safe. No, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Did forget about that one. Well. Buzz just control up here, which is... I thought he might have gone a bit bigger just to put the jack in the pit. Doesn't quite get a result. Yeah, I think he needs to play a little bit bigger yeah. weight than that. Yep. And Matty will be definitely tired of this time and trying to change that jack. Mm -hmm. Well, making a three? good three, yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably Chunking not exactly what he three. was looking for, but good result in the end. Yeah. The only thing it does do is give him a chance for three in the pit here. Which is exactly what Scotty's called, so... He's just played a controlled one here. It's just going to cut across the head. I'm surprised with the weight there so far. Yeah, probably still wasn't enough to get it in the pit, so... I would have thought that was a reach at all costs. So three to Lowy and Flapper. <laughs> Brings us back out to a 13-shot lead to the Grovers. Hi, Tay. I've just seen your um, comment. Um, when Kev went and did our score runs, Brad was 10-1 up. Um, not sure after how many ends, but that was about 15 minutes ago. So, I've actually got uh, Brad and uh, Greg Pod Podesta um, as the Smokies today. I think okay. if anyone can steal this tournament from here... It's definitely them. Mm -hmm. And with a 10-1 lead and the shots up that they've already got, yeah. they're certainly um, in a good position. Yeah, definitely. And even Teasy and Jezza, you know, they're on 36 and Brad's on plus 54. So yeah. a slip up from Teasy or Henry, or yeah. and Henry, um, could see Marin jump them into top spot. Here we go. Alan Johnston watching from Hillsborough, Northern Ireland. We did have a, someone from Scotland not long ago, so nice to see some internationals. Great shot there from Peter Lowe. Great effort there from from Scotty. Poor last shot, but not intent. <laughs> not enough intent, Buzz well, says on his last shot. When Buzz listens to the replay, he'll understand that we were all over that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Buzz just acknowledging uh, what we said so far about he just wasn't... Just didn't have the... Didn't have the intent that he needed to... A couple to. of metres. And the thing is, you play that bit of weight. Yeah. Even if you don't get the jack, you take one out, you're reducing the count. Exactly, yeah. Good yeah. shot here from yeah, Matty. He's played in a good area if he gets down for the, the second. Good shot. Made two. See if Buzz has got some intent here. It's good to see that you can be uh, self-assessing and self-critical to the point that you know you made a mistake and mm. you just learn from it. He's in a very good area there. Flops down, he could be second, but just standing up for now. Still another good position. Give Absolutely. himself a chance. Yep. Plenty intent. Yes. <laughs> Got a uh, bit of a shout out here to Shane Allard sitting in a parking bay east of Wagga, heating up a load of bitumen. So your <laughs> road's not getting made today. <laughs> Too busy watching the bowls. Enjoy. Buzz just hanging high there. Probably not bad. Wait for you know trailing for a couple and putting the pressure on earlier. But yeah, just played it a little wide. 
Oh, and it actually went in the pit, so yeah. he, he won't be too happy with that. He's put the hand up to apologise to Scotty mm -hmm. straight away. Yes, Peter Bowles. Bowles God Low. Jeez, the nicknames. Yeah. I wish I had that nickname. Yeah, no. It would be far. I'd be more like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very lovable character too. Very unassuming and very nice you know, dude. down to earth and yeah, really nice bike, Pete. And Oh, he's got the jack here for a good which, two. Yeah, much, much better two definitely changes things up. You, know, you can't really get that jack on the other hand now, so but just Buzz still wanting to sort of play through Peter's bowl. I think he's playing this on the wrong hand, so. Yeah. That's, that's Lowy's toucher through the front. And I think Scotty's just questioned Lowy here. Um, it does look like he can get a good run to the jack on the other hand. Mm. I'm guessing he's looking at his back bowls and I wants position. So, and wants, but yeah. He could get his own underneath, but if he's not quite wide enough, which would be a tragedy for him. Not quite enough to hold out there. Another one on the, the side of the green where they almost can't get to, but you know, you do roll Peters with a you know a bit of weight and it can go that way, but there is is obviously the risk of, you know, going but, the wrong way. But even playing that toucher, if he hits it across the face of the jack and gets a back Absolutely. edge, he's a big number down, so at least he'll be going with it the other hand. And Lowy being called by Matty here to the back orange. Can draw the shot around to Buzz's bowl, which he's very close to. That's a fairly good execution, probably about 18 inches shorter than what Matty wanted. Yeah. But still, nevertheless, another good bowl. Yeah, I think I think I think it's most definitely on the ditch side now. Just I'd rather be you'd rather be trailing for one than being another three down or so. Good on you, Mick. Mick West out there throwing another uh, nickname in, which we won't repeat. I have heard that one been around for a while too. <laughs> uh, we did mention that, Kev, and I think Kev's going for another walk round to get us another update. Is that right, Kev? The instructions loud and clear there. After 10 ends, he's got his notepad in. He's ready to give us another update. Save the trees, Kev. I like it. <laughs> I don't think that little page is going to make a difference. It's a nice Miami notepad, Kev. Scotty just playing weight there, just missing underneath. Matt's just calling to play that ditch side, you know, roll Pete's through buzzers or just sliding past and sitting that shot, which I think is a great call. Matty will uh, feel pretty confident here just to I arrive. Think so. There's no real danger, you know. No, rolls that front low, bowl of lowies in or... Sits those oranges. And any toucher, he's still got a, a number, just so happens if he gets it. So hey, he's come to a good home here. Yeah, he's played exactly what he wanted. Just that bit wide, get to the orange, split those three. Very well played. Nothing for narrow there, so well, well, a little bit for narrow, but... Buzz playing another solid bowl here. Don't think he's too badly pointed here. He is in a good area. He gets under Something's that Something's going to happen here. Under the front, got one, Oh, two, he's got a flick, three. snick. Ah, that was a very good top. shot. Was a good shot, yeah. Uh, he's in the right area, played the percentages, and got a result. And yep. people need to realise that sometimes you get good ones, and sometimes you get bad ones. You but get shockers, yep. I have no problem if someone cheered that one, played the percentages, and got. That uh, no, was always there. That one. Plus, there was a bit of cover for his own bowls as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah. And that's imperative when playing those shots. We've got the thumbs up from Buzz now. He's he's walking on top of the ground now. <laughs> we can't disclose Buzz. <laughs> oh, Buzz has just nominated me as his coach and want to play. 
Well, I'm guessing don't be heavy, Buzz. <laughs> in the position they're in, I know it's dangerous, but he's he's nearly got to take the I, chance yeah. here and, and could make a three. I think, yeah, they say no risk, no reward. So at this point in time, I think you do have to sit the bowl. Um, but obviously then there is that risk of, you know, trailing, but you'd just be hoping that if you do trail it, you follow through with it. Cappuccino. Latte. Cappuccino, cappuccino. Yeah, Buzz. Buzz is, uh, he's taking a chance here, but he's just going to get away. It might have looked pretty dangerous there for the mm. viewers, but it, in the situation of 16-3 down, yeah. the chance of um, of winning just taking a one or one down is no good. They have to take the chance now and try and make some numbers. Yeah. Ex-Victorian, Jared Davies is on. Good to see you on there, bud. Hope you're hard at work up there at Broadbeach. <laughs> He's loving Queensland, Jared. Yeah, caught up with him during the uh, Oz Open up there. And mm -hmm. uh, ah, it's always good to see the, the young Victorians that are going somewhere and getting a job mm -hmm. in a bowls club to give them the opportunity to play the bowls. Yeah, it's good That they see. need. Very good young player. A rare short bowl from Lowy. Mm. Just coming in four foot short. This is where Scotty needs to jump on and put some pressure back on Lowy. I think so. You'd be looking for a... At this point in the game, you probably do need a number. Obviously, they're not easy to get, but if you can set up a good enough head to play some shots to get it, that'd be a good start. And that's a great point you make. So yeah. people chasing numbers, playing shots too early. Yeah. Just pump the bowls in or behind. Yeah. And then leave it for a bowl to make a shot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, great great correction there from Lowy. Wouldn't have expected any less from the superstar. No. Scotty making the correction here by the looks. It's on a pretty good track. Just needs to hurry. Yeah, His line just was pretty good, weight. just the weight. Line was uh, corrected the line well. Yes. Just unfortunately dropped the weight. Uh, there's a bit of a connection between the mm. Grovers and uh, Buzz. Yes. I think he was the uh, manager of the of their VBL team. Oh uh, yes, okay. And I was up at Barham and I saw him in a Grovers shirt yes. and I'm like, "What's happened? You've jumped ship." <laughs> no, nah, mate. Just following me team. Good on him. Only new to the game, but he certainly made an impact on his way in. He, he's, has, he's he just his own, loves the game. Wearing his own merch. Get the chalk out. How good's that, eh? So, and uh, everyone seems to love the merch too. There's a few few buzz jumpers around, so. Actually, there has been a, a few new innovations. Uh, yeah. The aero uh, camouflage shirts. Yes, the T-shirts, yes. What do you think of them? I feel obliged as a Henselite supporter. <laughs> <laughs> to say <laughs> to you say don't I like them. I like the idea of them. <laughs> no, I, li I do like the idea of a T-shirt. Something a bit more casual, something for those that don't like collars. Great shot there from Buzz. Yeah, Just very Just sitting low his bowl, making shot. Well played. Uh, and, and young bowlers like yourself yeah. need those sponsorships yeah. to try and uh, assist you with your goals. And yeah, I'm, I'm very blessed to work with West Coast Bowls also, so they they do a great job down down Buzz's way towards and and Maddie's way down towards Colac, and um, you know they brought in the bowls leggings, which obviously weren't new, but you know a lot of women like those because they're not a fan of shorts and stuff. So they do a good job in bringing about new things for the game of bowls and. Um, yeah, I'm very blessed to work alongside them and hence light. So, um, but you are right. It's definitely something that the young ones need to get get a bit of support to keep them going. Well, a new set of bowls is not cheap. No, you're not wrong. And you know you want to be up with the uh, the latest gear to be competitive. <laughs> Uh, 
And it's really good that all the, the suppliers and, mm-hmm. and manufacturers of the bowls do uh, have some sponsorship mm-hmm. around. And, and look, at the end of the day, the best advertisement is to have the best players using your products. And, Absolutely. You know, you see players change every now and then, and it's generally they're looking, they're trying to do the right thing for themselves as well. So, Definitely. Uh, a couple of recent ones were uh, Teasy and uh, Sheriff uh, going back over to Aero. Aero yeah. Um, so as you see that, you know, the players have got to look after themselves as well. Yeah, definitely. We've just seen Peter Lowe nail the jack for two. What a great bowl. So Scotty's swapped over. Just playing it a tad high and quick. And like the point we made earlier was that uh, when playing weight, you pl- need to play such a tight line. You do, yeah. Even on the wide end. Yep, <laughs> you have to trust. And for any of the young ones out there, if you're watching, if you want to learn to get the right uh, delivery, watch Peter Lowe. He does have a very nice delivery. High head, looking up the green. What the hell have we got here? Duggo's played a Terminator. Or I think we'll hear about that later. <laughs> He's in for ended it, trying to jump the bowls. <laughs> well, wow. we got the tent. Now we've got the clowns. <laughs> I don't think the green keeper would be liking that. I wonder what was happening safe. Did you see I did. it? I actually didn't see it. We might have to get the replay. We might have to get that back up if we can. We're well, talking to the tech. Um, yeah, see, we can't get a replay of um, Rink 7 there. It was, I think Duggo's played a Terminator. Greenkeeper's curse. Scotty Bosch just cutting the head slightly, but Beautiful still just weight. two for them. Yeah, we'll see if we can get this replay back up. Maddie just taking a tight line there. Weight seemed to be pretty good because he got a couple of whacks and still only finished two foot short. So, um, so we're just looking to correct. Nah, we can't find it. Sorry. I'd like to have been able to uh, <laughs> give you a replay of that. We'll be talking about that later. You might be able to see the ball roll into the rink. <laughs> For those who didn't see it, it was uh, sideways, end for end, bouncing down the green like a basketball. <laughs> and deliberately. Yes. Matty. Matty Flapper with his last bowl. Out on a very good line here. Might have just overcorrected the weight slightly, but... He set that bowl, but, uh, yeah, just a Next fraction range. high. One of the superstars down there at Grovers is on now, Mick Sloper. Yes. The gentle giant. Yes. The one thing I will say about the Grovers, they've got to rip a bunch of they guys do. down there. and uh, They do. They've got a good crew down there. They run a run a big uh, falls tournament in, uh, I think it's about February. Mm-hmm. If you get an opportunity to get a entry in there for... Just speak to Matty and uh, he'll look after you. Definitely. Their ballerine eyewear mixed pairs is also over New Year's and also a good tournament that I've enjoyed over the last couple of years. Ah, that's great. All right, so I'm going right. to leave you to update the games. We're back with scores. Okay. Jeremy Henry Aaron is currently 16-8 up. Gary Lawson, Shannon McIlroy, 5-10 down. Uh... Brad Marin, Greg Podesta, 13-3 up. Cam Keenan, Ryan Bester, 6-15 down. Uh, the game you're watching currently, Maddie Flapper, 17-3 up over Chris Burrell. 
Uh, Ryan Burnett, Ali Forsyth currently 13-4 up. Nathan Black, who was 2-2, is now 4-4 with his partner Ben Bowman. Uh, Brad Pavey, Brett Marnie, 8-7 up. Benny Hubber, Josh Corliss, 13-4 up. Corey Wedlock, Gary Kelly, 8-5 up after being 3-5 down. Jimmy Whitehead, 8-5 up after being 3-4 down. So, good couple of scores there. Robbo, if you want to have a look. A couple of turnarounds. I'll have a little look at that. And thanks, Joey. Uh, RT Edgar, Classic Fours. So, there's a really good tournament. Actually, uh, you get a really good field down there as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's one of the premier Falls events, um, and also you have in the May Carnival, you have the George Lynch Falls up here at Moama. Yes. Phew. Probably one of the loosest first poles we're seeing from Peter Lowe with the correction with his second. That's more like him after this game. Absolutely. Scotty would be just wanting to correct also. Not that I want to do too many adverts here, but I was sent a uh, a flyer from Wodonga. Their autumn open triples. Eight grand in prize money, seven games of 15 ends. This is on Saturday the 27th and 28th of April 2024. So uh, if you want to get an entry in there, get uh, in contact with the David King on 0407 261. 188 or get in contact with the uh, Wodonga Bowls Club so uh, support these tournaments because without the support from the players the clubs will battle Many Flapper on a not a bad track just slipping through stays on he's not in a, got a good home one of the uh more scattered heads that we've had. Yeah, I was so just one of the more loosest ones, but can happen on the ditch to ditch, but yeah, exactly right with the cha bit of a change in length. update the scores there. 17-3 after nine. We'll see Maddie draw another second. Well, a second. Good correction from his first. So last year's winners are battling a bit in this game. Yeah, they just want a little bit of a turnaround in there as they go into the last third of the game. Ali off to a good start. Yes. That can't be 18-5, is it? For Jimmy? I think it's... Oh... I said 8-5. I don't know if that's a, a <coughs> the line down the middle. All I can say is Matty Elo must be playing well if it's 18-5. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Jimmy goes all right in his own right. That's go good. Now, great attempt there from Peter. Just the jack rolling just too far for one down. Did change the head up, though, and definitely makes it hard for Buzz to sort of, you know, do the same thing. So... Be looking to get a, a very decent draw through a couple of gaps here. Sorry, Scotty. I keep mix, mixing them up. <laughs> yeah, it's a good call. Got to trust that line out there. Will sort of turn around the tee, so. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretty sure Matty uh, will be getting Lowy up in there mm. to try and look to sit that Absolutely. lone bowl in the head. Yep. Has got his own to run through. He's on a tight line here. 
can find its way through. Does protect his own bowl a little bit there, yeah, so yeah, exactly. it's probably not a bad result. Yep. Yeah, it made Matty change his mind and flip Lowy over. Or change his hand mm. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Got his own out, but no change. Still got a couple of seconds. We look like we're end ahead here. So? Oh, we might be. What's this? Uh, we'll have a bit of a problem back here, do we? Oh, see what happens when you get me in control with a computer. <laughs> Trouble is here. I'll just change those ends. Be easy to uh, There fix is a this chance up. they didn't pop the ends on the scoreboard. Maybe, but at this stage yeah, I'll well the score is definitely right for you guys. It'll just be a matter of ends. They did have one dead end. Scotty just crashing through one of the bowls there and finishing on the, the lip of the green. That was slightly narrow there, but almost got a little bit of luck off that front orange one. See what Buzz is going to do here. He can draw in underneath here, but he's just a little bit quick. I think he's trying. They do have that one orange on the back, so I think he was trying to make a little bit of a number, but take the one, I think. So, 17-4. Another one to Buzz. Righto, so if on the change over here, we're mm -hmm. just going to just uh, digress from the bowls just for a second. And, uh, you know, it's obviously very hard for guys like Matty and Lowy and that that are down in the Geelong area yeah, at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, with the really sad news of uh, the two young children that Absolutely. have passed away in a tragic shed yeah. fire and wish all the best for the the, the two that are uh, fighting at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um we do have some players that this touches very close to their heart. Um, and I'd just like to give a bit of a shout out to try and help that family out yeah, with absolutely. the fundraising, um, you know, through this tough time. And this just sh puts everything into perspective on really does, what's yeah. important in your life. So yep. if there's an opportunity to go and, uh, you know, whatever towards it, it'll be very helpful for this mm. family because you can only imagine 
um, what they're going through at the yeah. moment. So wish their family all the best and certainly uh, send our prayers out for the uh, for the two young uns that are still fighting yeah. now. So it's never easy to lose anyone, let alone your young children. So um, there is a GoFundMe available if anyone would like to help. Um, I'm sure it's very easily accessible um, through social media and through Google search. So um, anything to help those in need, I'm always about. So I'll be jumping on and, and helping out myself. Absolutely. Thanks, Soph. And, uh, yeah, we'll get back to the bowls now. Yeah. Good start there from the, from the two leaders. Peter with, uh, it'll be close for shot, um, but uh, just sliding through the gap for a good position bowl. Buzz just crossing the head there, almost sitting Peter's bowl for two, but would leave them with a slightly large target for Maddie to draw, so. Good bowl here from Maddie Great Flapper. Great shot from Maddie. Yeah, like shell and peas. Probably would have made two out of that with the roll through. Probably nearly made two out of it anyway, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. And there's a name that is normally synonymous with this uh, tournament is uh, Paul Cameron, yeah. Chomper. He's uh, showing some interest still, even though he's uh, not here, which is great to see. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be back next year. Mm. Buzz is playing almost uh, the exact same bowl as his first, so we'll be wanting to just take that bit of width with his next two after the crossover. Another great shot from Maddie, yeah. seeing the same bowl. Probably stiff to backflop there, so probably got fourth shot there. Very nice setup for him, though. Yeah, yeah, that one bowl in the head there is probably going to stick in uh, Scotty yeah. and Buzz's head, but at the end of the day, I think in this position, they really need to just get that jack out of yeah, there and I start so. again. Uh, not really worry about the potential loss. They're in a yeah. tough situation anyway. Yeah. They've just got to try and turn it around and win some ends. Mm-hmm. Fairly well pointed here from Scotty. He's a fairly good. Well, I think he's going to run good. fair into Matty's bowl. Sit. Made shot. Front hopper. Well yeah, played. what a great bowl. Gave himself a chance. A few Absolutely. options there. I know it's an old cliche, but playing the percentages. Yep. And Matt has called that it will still, you know, any contact it is going to Peter's back one. So Jackie's virtually loaded. Very close. Great oh. effort, but a great home anyway. Yeah, beautiful weight. If you don't get the shot, be in a position to yep. get it with the next one. Absolutely. And and you'll see a big difference between your, your average Joe bowler and the top bowlers. Mm. They don't waste. Very, very few bowls yep. they waste. Just trying to put a bit of cover in there, and he's done a pretty good yeah. job of that. For Matt, I, th I, you know, I still think it is worth it to get Peter to play that shot, you know. So, worst they can go is, well, I wouldn't say worst, you know, it's likely to be one down, but anything could happen and they could be three. But with the comfortable lead, I think he'd still be playing it. Yeah, well, Matty's just called Lowy here on uh, actually playing off his own bowl. Yeah. And coming back onto the uh, shot bowl or the jack. Yeah. And he's just a bit tight, I think. Nearly got off Ooh, the front nearly, range. <laughs> nearly got a walk. <laughs> but, yeah, I can see what Matty's looking at there. Advantage is to come off low. He's a little bit of weight. Yeah. Pop the jack sideways. There's only one away bowl there, so it's got nothing to lose. Yeah, definitely. Morning, Ben Fletcher. Good morning, Benny. Benny gets himself involved with the... He uh, does. With the uh, BPL, yes, here at Moama, which is great to see. You see him out there. With, or was it the Ultimate Bowls? One of them, it is. BPL. BPL. Yeah, BPL. Yep. Yeah, gets in there as a 
as an official, and it's uh, great to see one of the young ones mm. doing something for the sport already, which is, is great. Yeah. Great there from Maddie. Another one behind. At the end of the day, there's, you know, the volunteers are important. Yep. They what they're what keeps you know everything going. So well, you don't have a game if you don't have them. You're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you hear people bagging umpires out and stuff like that, yep. and they spend a lot of their personal time. Yep. Uh, giving giving their assistance as a, as an ITO and stuff yep. like that, and all they do is cop it in the neck. Yeah. You know they got to do their training, their accreditations, and I got my umpire certificate. I haven't used it yet. No. Nope. But um, yeah, you know everything that goes in behind the scenes, all the you know all the study and paperwork, they they do a good job. And it's good for yourself as one of the top players, is to um, actually know the rules. Yeah, well, when you when you um, you know get implemented into the Jackaroos program, it, it's something that you do amongst everyone. So we did ours at Sunbury a couple of months ago with the whole crew, the whole Victorian crew that's selected. So. Um, yeah, it was a really it was a really good experience to, to go through and get that, you know, the the extra qualification. We start to see some of the teams coming off. Yeah, a few finished fairly early. Ryan Bester and Cam Keenan have uh, just confirmed that they did go down in that game, so that's going to... Opens up the four ga well, sorry, the five game winners. Certainly to, throws it in there. So they'll, they'll drop back down amongst the many of the, the four game winners so definitely swaps the leaderboard around especially with their, their shots up too so I think uh, was it, were they playing um, Taddy and Omar in that game? Um, I know they question. play them sometime today they, I'll just check that out for you and if they have lost to them then you can understand. Well Taddy walked off with Cam so there's a good chance they both finished at the same time That's what I was going on Matty Flap with a big drive. Ooh. Bowl's gone everywhere and probably made three shots. Yeah. What a bowl. Bang. Watch the replay of that, he says. Well, we'll get that up for you, Matty. <laughs> He's even called for the replay. <laughs> it all happens so quick, his drives. I might need to watch the replay. Yeah, no, I said he's let it go. Bang. Got all three. <laughs> Very uh, well played. Champion that's bowler. Classy Matt Flapper. Wouldn't expect anything less from him either. No. No. But when you're that good <laughs> and you get those shots, you have every right to have a little squawk, don't you? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think he has the privilege. He's earned it. Yes, absolutely. going to handball the uh, <laughs> uh, computer duties of uh, let safe get a control. She's all over this computer stuff. There we go. 19-4 on an 11. We've hit the, the home straight. Last couple up and back. Oh, up and back and up <laughs> and back and up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just see the difference in the two games uh, on the carpet and the grass. The grass must have been a little bit slower this morning. Yeah. Where you've got a game that's uh, already finished and another game still got five to go. So either that or there wasn't many dead ends. Although with yeah. Sheriff, Sheriff and uh, Bester, I would have thought there may be a few. You'd think. Here it is, the replay. Bang. Great start of there from Scotty. Just been a little bit wayward with his uh, weight and line, but this one he's got it spot on.
Lowy coming in here now. Yeah, Lowy's uh, drawn the shot there, so it was a great correction from him. Mm -hmm. And Scotty on a very good line here again. He's on a good track. Just going to slip through second. Beautiful weight. Another bowl in the head. I want to see the replay of that. <laughs> How did that actually get them out? All three. How? Buzz is just dumbfounded. <laughs> it's just called... It's just called class, Buzz. Buzz questioning how the hell that happened. But uh, <laughs> on reviewing the replay, he's absolutely taken three of their bowls out clean as a whistle without touching another thing. Shots we only dream of. <laughs> well, you're more than capable, I'm sure. But oh, I don't know if I can get the weight behind it like <laughs> Maddie can. I, can. I can certainly send it down to a certain degree, but where it goes, <laughs> I don't know. Great shot there from Maddie. Very Flutter. good shot, Maddie. No, I agree, so. Uh, I... Uh, I don't even call what I do a drive mm -hmm. anymore. It's more like just a runner. Yeah. <laughs> to have the speed and the accuracy is uh, insane. Not a bad response from Buzz there. Solid second. Must have heard me when I said they're a bit <laughs> loose coming this way before. <laughs> yeah, we've tightened up for sure. <laughs> and it just shows a very, very uh, accurate... Weighted shot mm. can make a big difference in yep. a game, and you know, only need to do that one or two times a yeah. game, and even one time a game, and it could be the difference of winning or losing. Yeah, exactly right. Maddie coming in with another nice one, just pulling up. Shout out to Brendan Elliott. Thanks for the uh, the nice words. Buzz going to get a result here. Got the jack back in the pit. It'd be a capital down, but that's. That's uh, irrelevant at this stage. <laughs> There's uh, plenty of room yep. to jam a few more bowls in here. So we get a restart at the end effectively. Mm -hmm. They'll start from scratch. Right back to my Peter Lowe's favourite length. Yes. And you'd think something has gone drastically wrong with where the bowls are now positioned <laughs> if you were just jumping on. but Especially with no bowl in the ditch. Like yeah, exactly. Face cut the jack straight down the line. Didn't quite hit what he wanted, but part of the uh, the options when you're having a go, if you've got the weight and you hit something, what happens after that is purely in the lap of the gods. <laughs> Peter will be number one. Scott just overcooking it a tad. Saw Lowy pull up short and probably thought, oh, I better make sure I get there and just overcooked it a bit. But I would expect Lowy here to make a very good correction here. Mm. Coming in nicely here. Meh. Yeah. Great bowl. Just a yard off from the pit roundabout. Robert will investigate this. There's a call out there that it may actually be 22-4. We just have what is on their scoreboard. Correct. But it, they might not have popped on that last one after Maddie's big drive, so we might have... We'll investigate that and see yeah. what we can do. Yeah. You sure best have played all their ends. <laughs> Everyone still, I haven't seen anyone else walk off. <laughs> Here comes Omar. A little bit quick there from mm. Maddie, just dropped in. Mm. 
Buzz just going to pull up, I think. No. Be a good good measure in that. By the camera angle, you'd nearly favour that would, last yeah. bowl being directly in front. Yep. Matty just needs to clear this bowl, and unfortunately, he's just rolled it in for Shay as a wry smile. Mm. Would have been enough to draw shot. It would have been just enough to sneak around. Buzz's last bowl coming down here. A little bit tight. But if he slips through the hole, which he's just oh. going to flop out. <laughs> Very unlucky there. Good effort. Was a good effort. Might try and get Maddie's attention, see if he can just... Whether they don't want to put it on the score, but I'm not sure. But they, we might just need it for our benefit, for the viewers. I think he's going to put it up now, so we'll fix this up for you. You were correct. So. Uh, thanks for the uh, for the prompt. It makes us uh, keep us on track. Twenty-two five is the correct score. Going into our thirteenth end. After twelve ends, yes. So they did just miss the scoreboard on the last one for us. So, all up to date now. Peter just going to fall short there, but still not far away at all. Zach, the Grovers are doing very well in the tournament, currently sitting fifth. Uh, the last team on five wins. Um, just shots up, but this should, should certainly help them. And we've had Cam Keenan and Ryan Bester uh, fall short in that game, so they'll stay on 10. And if Matt and Peter, as we would expect, get this win and uh, plus shots, they'll certainly be up there um, with, you know, a solid, uh, solid spot. In all, you could almost be the top three, but I'd be saying top four for sure. I think they'll jump up to fourth after this. Well, absolutely, and the current score on the board gets them to about plus 47. Yep. Um, which puts them in front of Keenan and Vesta, and, yeah, only a few shots behind uh, Brad Marin and Gary Lawson, depending on what the results are in this game. So certainly putting themselves yeah, in a reasonable definitely. position here, coming coming hard late here. If they can get, you know, last couple of ends and increase their shots up because Cam and Ryan did lose that game. They've, de they've definitely gone to fourth minimum. Minimum, yes. And the thing for Maddie and Lowy today is they win their two games, they can't be caught. Exactly, yep. It's only if they get tipped over in the last game will that come into a into play. So they're certainly playing for a top three finish here. Absolutely. One of the dark horses. There's a bit of a question out there whether it's a, a summer sport or not. <laughs> well, I reckon there'd be a few here today that, uh, without any political views here, uh, be hoping for a bit of climate change to get the yes. heat up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> She's only sitting 
It's only sitting at about, uh, we'll have a little look at the local weather here. I reckon it's only about 15 degrees here today. Oh, here we go. 12.3 degrees. Currently feels like 7.8. And I reckon under the roof it probably feels yeah. like 3. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> chilly. Absolutely. So you can see why everyone's wearing jumpers and pullovers and stuff. Yeah, question out there, who does Matty play in the last game? He plays Les Johnson and Ben Winther, so no pushovers there. No, they're currently next door. Peter's played this very well. Making two of it. Great shot. I think Craig Hillier might be onto something here. I chose this morning when asked. I thought that... Uh, Brad Marin's draw and uh, uh, position it is on the ladder. They could, only if Teasy and Henry have a, uh, a disaster in a game, mm. could jump them. I think so. Buzz going for a bit of a lot of weight here. Oh, he's hit low, he's short bowl, but he's opened it up now. Has opened it up. Can get the you know the split and make a couple pending not too many of his bowls clear out too far. Maybe be just trying to clean this up a bit, trying to get a bowl in front of the jack. I would have thought, or change it somewhat. Oh, he's just hit his own bowl. Pulled up short. We've got the thumbs up from Ali on the way past, so... That'll push him and Ryan to 11 points. Yes, which will get him up in front of Bester and Cameron, so they've certainly moved up one position. Oh, yep. so That's dropped. Buzz has just missed the, by a very fine margin yeah. there. So Cam and Ryan Bester pending, obviously, this game. Matt and Peter win. They've dropped to sixth. Yes, but still up the pointy end. Absolutely, and yeah. Still in their hands to get himself a nice earn. Yeah. And Matty, unfortunately, ran into his own bowl twice. It just shows you how important not dropping short bowls are. Even yeah. the best can do it. Absolutely. Cost himself twice. So another two... Going into the second last end, 24-5 to the Grovers. We've got half an hour left. Before this game is timed out, I'm thinking at the speed the game's going this morning, I don't think that will become an issue. Yep. Solid start there from Pete. Looking back at some of the scores that Kev gave us, you know, you look at a couple of the lower scoring ones like Nathan, who was 4 4, when others were about 17 3, so that means they've played. You know, a maximum of eight ends. So, um, Nate's likely to be a few ends behind others, and I'm sure there's a few out on the greens that are probably just that tad, a couple of ends behind as well. But looking at the scoreboards, everyone seems to be on the ends 13 to 15. So, It's 
Scotty just running into Peter's short one, but holding one on the first crossover. There you go. I'll just check the draw out. Nathan Black and Ben Bowman are playing the locals, Barry Brennan and Glenn Dawood. So mm. they're obviously holding a uh, a very good account of themselves mm. against top class players. Right with a pretty good direction with his first. Likely shot with that. Buzz on a pretty good line here. Just whether he's got the run or not. Very well and he played, has. Buzz. He's played a ripper here. Great shot. And a toucher. Get the chalk out, Buzz. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Matty's on a reasonable line here. He just gets around that for the jack and back to Pete's bowl. Shot. What a great conversion. Three shot turnaround, one down to two up. <laughs> There's no no letting up on here. Buzz would be finally having a deep breath going. Finally I've got one near got it. One the next and... bowl gone. That's <laughs> what you expect. Forced to change over as well. Uh, pretty good line here. Just carrying a bit of weight. Can't see. Stayed on. Oh, it stayed on. Well, <laughs> it did stay on. That's handy. Or did it? Well, I heard something. No, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> it was on the green. Oh, but there we go. I think, I think uh, Scotty must have stopped it. Yeah, no, it didn't. It was on the green. <laughs> For about 17 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it must have just flopped in. I think so. Lowy's coming up. Just a little bit short. But potentially in the count at this stage. Mm. I think it is. I don't think it'll be later on in the end, but... No. Certainly, uh, man, Scotty's just going to sneak around here. Going to cut Oh, he didn't sneak out. around, but it's probably going to cut that one out. Just blocking the jack a little bit. Down to the draw on the wide hand here again, Lowy. Be looking to find himself about six feet away. The call Pedro comes out from Matty, so I'm thinking he's not far away. Although he's got a bit of weight on that. And she's gone in the ditch, so even catching Matty mm -hmm. out. Kaz, from my view, Brad is currently 19-7 uh, up. So that is Brad Marin, Greg Podesta, over the two St. John's Park boys. Yeah, that'll certainly help their position in the, in the Absolutely, standings. Absolutely, yeah. Maddie just falling in as well. So it just shows, even though that jack's been moved and there was plenty of room, very, very hard to play beyond a 
full length in. Buzz just going to sneak in for shot. Yeah, good shot Got there. one. Good shot. Matty's out on a nice high line here. I think he's uh, all come down to wait here. Oh, has he got the jack? Just running under and gone in wow. again. So Great effort. That's something you don't see very often. Especially from Matty. 100%. He'll be kicking himself there. Mark Ryan just skipping on past there. Just said they're all square with a couple to go. And uh, Buzz just draws another for two. How easy. So going into the last end. Now we're starting to see a bit of a procession of players finishing. <laughs> Case and uh, Nugget have given us this thumbs up for... A, a victory for them. They're down in 21. That gets them on to eight points. So, depending on the day, they win their last game. You never know. They could sneak in there somewhere. Start from Peter, just going to fall about a foot short. Yeah, nice shot here from Scotty. Oh, see one of those little gremlins there. What a great reply from Peter Lowe there. Absolutely, what a shot. Just dead draws a, a front hopper. That's a great read. Even a, and that's great to see. Even Buzz gives Lowe a little low five there, mm. acknowledging the, the great bowl that he played. Yeah. I think Buzz will be playing his backhand also and just trying to little pop at the jack. Okay, got a little bit of information here, so mm -hmm. from Shane Hafner. Mm -hmm. uh, Go Brad Marin and Greg Podesta, proudly promoting mental health awareness by wearing Bowl for Your Lives uniforms. Yes, Bowl for Your Lives is a, um, a very important and, um, I'm trying to think of the word, just was a good initiative um, that was brought out recently. Um, a, a lovely man from my club, Cam Ryan, had a um, a big part in that, and they do a good job, um, you know, running tournaments and raising money for mental health awareness. And they've got some lovely merch that obviously a few people are wearing. Um, it's a very very good program and a very good organisation. Uh, it's great to see um, getting on board with such a good uh, uh, charity, and Absolutely. and I can tell you now. You know a lot of people that have suffered depression and mental illness. Mm -hmm. You'd be very surprised if you knew the real numbers because yep. for the ones that talk, there's probably 10 that don't. You're so, exactly right, Robo. Um, you know, I've suffered myself with the back injury mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. And without people around you exactly supporting right. you, just remember you're not alone. Mm -hmm. um, just reach out and talk to someone. Absolutely. The Bowls community has been amazing for that. Um, I've certainly reached out this year after a few things that have happened and definitely the community has been very supportive and I'm very grateful. So a great program, the Bowl for Your Lives, so get involved if you can. So we see the crossover. Buzz has got a very well-positioned bowl there, just needs to, to pop the jack for a couple. Yeah, you got pretty good position there. Doesn't have to be silly. 
Just arriving, just any contact. Over twenty, over two hundred and seventy thousand raised for Black Dog at Black Dog Institute since October twenty two. Incredible. Now, One year. if everyone on the live stream could clap, I think that's impressive. Yeah, it's incredible. The most positive thing for me about the the whole mental health issue or or illness is that it's now been accepted that you know you can't control this stuff. Exactly. The, the stigma behind it is. That and in this current climate, um, there's a lot of things that can cause it. Yeah, absolutely. Peter's just popped a pretty good placement bowl there, just matching Maddie's as well, just in case that Jack does pop that little bit too far. Yep, dead right. In a pretty good area. Oh. <laughs> Very stiff just to clip the edge of his and not get Peters. But the ball is back open now. Very good effort. Certainly was. Lowy just putting another one out there. There's another catcher, just making sure that uh, yeah. Buzz has to play with the right weight. Yeah, exactly right. It is a tough shot, but I think Buzz might whip this out on the last end, if I'm honest. Yeah, I don't know what Buzz is going to play. He should be playing a little bit of weight. but Yeah, enough to pop it. You can you, you have got um, Scotty's bowl that's matching two of Peter's, so you are a chance to get the shot. But you, the ideal movement of Jack would be about a foot. I just want to say thanks to Shane. He's, uh, he's very happy that we broached that subject yeah. then. But uh, I just want to thank Shane for bringing it to our attention. Yeah, it is. A and, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of teams here. And yep. just to point that out is uh, just yeah. great. So thank you very much. And a few comments from other people. Yeah. So it's just lovely. I actually got a phone call yesterday from from a, a friend that I used to bowl with. Oh, nice. Didn't realise that I'd had another surgery on my back and just reached out because he knew that I'd been suffering. Yeah. Um, just to say, how are you going and, mm. and all that. So it was really nice to um, to be able to, you know, receive yeah. that. People don't look for support. It no. needs to be... Uh, it needs to just be given. Yeah, absolutely. Matt's drawn in a very good home there. Buzz just fell short with his first one. He'd be looking to add a little bit. Metre, metre and a half. Just enough to pop the jack. He's coming down. I think he's, he's a fraction tight. tight. There's a chance <laughs> that he may have knocked that short bowl in for shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those ones you go, yeah, good result. That's yeah. about it. Yeah. But he's in the right area and these things can happen. Yeah. Well, he did correct his weight, I will say, but just had that same line and just happened to get the good result off his first bowl. So... The thing is, in that situation, so if you are better to be yeah. narrow than wide because there's nothing for Absolutely. wide. Absolutely. At least there is a potential other result to come. So give it a chance and takes a result. As Maddie this just game goes comes past. To a finish, we will see. I don't know what the end result was. I'm pretty sure, by the way, the scoreboard's up to date. It's 24 6. I think it was one there to um, Puzz. Yep, so that's 24-7 yep. after 15. So, Well, thanks, Soph. Thank I you so much. really appreciate your time again this morning, and uh, we may see you again this afternoon yes. in, the, in the last game, which will be... I'll be around for a bit. Brad or Luke Hoskins versus mm. Dave Dawes and Mark Ryan. So nice, yep. three blokes from where I come from and one bloke where I come from now. You'll be looking forward so to it. Be a... Uh, a little bit of a personal game, this one. It'll be good to watch. <laughs> awesome. So tune in back at about, where are we now? I'm thinking it'll be about half past. Quarter past, half past 11, yeah. around that sort of time. So hopefully see you all back soon. Thanks, Soph, and we'll be back then. Cheers.